Who uses a chainsaw for bonsai? Kimura does. Master Kimura is probably one of the most influential bonsai artists in the world. And now he's offering courses in how to develop bonsai. Welcome, this is Jelle, Growing Bonsai. And today I'd like to talk to you about some courses that are being offered. A week ago, I got an email from my friend Oscar. Oscar runs the Bonsai Empire domain. And this website probably is one of the best websites for bonsai online right now. Everybody who does bonsai has been on this website. I can guarantee you this. And his website has been translated in 10, 12 languages. And recently he has started to create an online school. And in this school, now an exciting development, Master Kimura himself has invited Oscar to come to Japan and film him as he is working and explaining how to do bonsai. This is so exciting. Welcome to the Kimura Masterclass. In this online course, you'll learn from the famous bonsai master Masahiko Kimura, also known as the magician. In the following lectures, Mr. Kimura will share some of the techniques that he became famous for. In two long format case studies filmed inside his workshop near Tokyo, Mr. Kimura shows how he approaches bonsai design and aesthetics. Now, Oscar, he popped me an email. He said, hey, Jelle, you have a successful YouTube channel. Would you like to do a review for me? Now, I normally don't do reviews. I don't really like it because you always have this impression, oh, this guy is being paid. Now it happens that I am a great fan of the work that Oscar does. I have been a member of his website from one of the earliest days. And in fact, I run into him at shows and exhibitions and we have a calm cup to a coffee. So when he asked me to do this review, of course I said yes, but it is new for me. So I am not sure how this video is going to turn out. It might be a complete flop, I don't know. So bear with me, I'm trying to produce it in a way that it is interesting and not just boring. I'll put in some video from the website itself. I'll do screenshots. I don't know how it will turn out. Join me. In this case, I don't get kickbacks. I don't get payments. I get nothing out of it except for access to the material. So what did I do? I went online and I had a look at how do you learn bonsai? Now there is a multitude of ways to learn bonsai. Of course, you can do what you're doing right now. You can watch videos online on YouTube, which are free and available for everybody. Or you can do what I sometimes do. Now, to be honest, normally when I do a lot of research for bonsai, books are one of the things that I really, really enjoy. So I have quite a few bonsai books here. And in fact, you can't see them all, but I've got lots and lots of magazines here as well. And I read and I see what people have done. Next to that, I of course frequent the bonsai school in Germany. Well, in fact, now that I got my degree and I got certified, I don't go there all that much anymore. And yeah, then there's of course the websites like Bonsai Empire, uh, but also Mirai Bonsai, uh, Bonsai U. They all offer courses online and you pay for the courses and their pros and cons. This means, of course, that for me it is not completely obvious what to look for when it comes to online courses. And I can only reflect upon what I do with my YouTube channel or what others do on their website or on YouTube channels. Well, I decided let's dive into that. Let's have a look on the different types of courses that are available and how the new courses by Kimura stick up. Stack up. Now, did you know that when Kimura started doing bonsai, he was considered a bit of a rascal. His work did not fit the traditional Japanese standards. Much of the innovation in bonsai in the last decades has been initiated by him. If you see somebody working with a chainsaw on a bonsai, it was Kimura who did it as one of the first ones and who did it publicly and shared the world. Um, he takes big rocks and he carves them down and he makes very nice displays out of it. In fact, I've been to his garden some five years ago and I had the luck to see some of these masterpieces in person and they're just so amazing and very big. So it is a real pleasure to see that now Bonsai Empire has been able to link up with him and create some video material. Talking of which, 
So I have been scrolling through the website. If you go to the Bonsai Empire website, what you'll find is it is a website in multiple languages. You can switch from lang one language to the next. And if you look through the website, most of the material is of very, very high quality. Um, the images are crisp, clear, bright, texts are long, informative, and there's a forum that is frequently visited by people who have some idea about bonsai. So the public part of the website is already a pleasure to visit. Now, of course, these courses that they made with Kimura, they're not for free. Um, you go to their website, you go to the front desk and you can actually register to the website. That gives you access to the forum, but it also gives you access to their online learning environment. Uh, next to the courses of Kimura, there's of course other courses. Uh, Björn Björnholm has provided some material, but also there's a whole range of experts that Oscar has invited to provide individual courses. Typically, the courses take 20 minutes to an hour of video material in which a specific element of growing bonsai is being explained. This is not very different from what I do on my channel or what others do in their channel, but what is very different is that in this case, the courses are structured. So there is a step-by-step -step process in which you get provided with all the material. This is of course a big benefit over a YouTube channel where you just have to look and browse through all the different videos. And actually, Oscar, you have given me an idea. Maybe I should also provide an interface on my website where I show these are the videos that I've made and these are the links through which you can proceed. Well, Oscar has already done this. And if you then go to the Kimura part of the coursework, he offers two types. There is one on the aesthetics of bonsai and one on the techniques of bonsai. And in fact, as I'm going through all these videos, I must say, I don't see a very big difference in the two courses when it comes to one is more on techniques and the other is more on aesthetics. Basically in both courses, you get a little bit of both. Um, so I would recommend if you decide to enroll into his courses, register to both. Now, what I've noticed is that if you go to another platform, say the Bonsai Mirai channel, there you can also enroll as a learner on their platform. When you pay for their courses, you get access to their platform and all the old courses that are available. So you get a massive, massive video repository. Um, this repository is available to you for as long as you're subscribed to their channel or to their website. Now, this is different than Bonsai Empire. Bonsai Empire, you register, you pay the fee for a specific course or a series of courses. And at that point, you get access to that material for as long as they have it online and the website exists. So effectively, they say for life, I would say for as long as the website exists. So that is a clear difference on what Bonsai Empire offers. Um, I like that in a way. So you pay for a specific course, then you have access to that course. Unfortunately, you don't get access to all the materials on the website. That's the downside of it. So they're not horribly expensive. Then I usually go to YouTube, which is completely free, but as already said, it's disorganized. Then I go to classes in a bonsai school. Now I've looked at a couple of classes and here there's a course that is offered online and you easily pay $150 for a four hour one-on-one -on -one training with a bonsai professional. Now, if you compare that to having Master Kimura spending hours explaining what he does, this is a pretty good deal. So, first conclusion, I think the material provided is a pretty good deal for the price that you're getting. There's, of course, a downside. And one of the downsides that I've realized is the way that the material is presented. If I listen to these videos and you have a one hour long video, I expect a massive amount of information to be shared. However, I think Master Kimura teaches in a fairly Japanese traditional way where the master shows how it is done. You can watch over his shoulder, you can see his fingers, you can see his hands. So there's a lot of detail provided in that sense, but he doesn't talk all that much. Um, it requires the Bonsai Emperor team to ask him questions every not once in a while to trigger him into explaining verbally what he's doing. Now, for many people, just looking at what somebody does and then picking up the granules of wisdom that are hidden in the techniques is enough. For me, I also like um, a little bit of speech there. Now, of course, what you'll notice if you look at YouTube videos, typically they are very, very compact. They are short, packed with new information. 
Um, the videos that Oscar produces uh, with the Bonsai Empire team typically are more artistic in their nature. So there are a lot of pauses in where you just watch the artist work, you see everything in detail, and there is a serenity to it. This is something that you have to like. Um, I know there's other channels online where the person who is explaining what they're doing, um, they speak a lot and a long time. And you get two hours, three hours of only content with explanation. This is not what you get on the Bonsai Empire videos by Kimura. They are much more based on the master shows how it is done and you can learn from watching. This is just a personal preference. So my personal preference would be to have the videos with a little bit more pace and a little bit more information. So that would be for me a, a downside. Still with dozens of hours of material in the course, there's a lot of information hiding there. And Kimura, arguably one of the best artists in the world, teaching these classes in collaboration with Bonza Empire. Congratulations, Oscar. That's a really, really nice deal that you've made there. Of course, everybody has their own way of how to learn bonsai. And I think that one of the best ways to learn bonsai is to work on your trees and have somebody nearby who every once in a while gives you some feedback and shows how you could do things differently. Now, if you don't have that, online learning is a really, really great alternative. いや、やったなと思うのは今まで一つだけだよね。雑誌見て。うん。海外の韓国です。韓国の人の一人作ったのがね。あ、これはなかなか。うん。ちゃんと理にかなった。うん。面白いの作ったなと思うのが韓国の